Have you ever seen a quark? You know, this this fundamental particle of nature, and there's six of them, up, down, top, bottom, strange, and charm, the six names we give to the six different kinds of quarks. Have you ever seen one? Probably not. In fact, nobody's seen a quark. It turns out, and I'll explain why, it turns out that you are not allowed ever to see a single quark by itself. You can see electrons by themselves. You can see neutrinos by themselves. You can see photons by themselves. You can see W bosons by themselves, but you can't see a quark by itself. And the reason for this, the reason for this is that the force that binds quarks together Quarks always run together in either pairs or triplets or quintuplets, very rarely quintuplets. So it's mostly mostly triplets and then some pairs. There's a force that binds it together. We call it various names like the strong nuclear force or the color force. It's just a force of nature that glues quarks together. This force is so strong. This force is so strong. At a distance of a femtometer or 10 to the minus 15 meters, this strong nuclear force is over 100 times stronger than electromagnetism and over a 11 bajillion times stronger than weak nuclear and gravity. It's just strong. Excuse me. It's just very, very strong. Hence the name strong nuclear force. Another name for it is the color force, but I explained that in a different video. So... You, you have this force that is so ridiculously strong. And something special about this force is that it doesn't get weaker with distance, which is very weird to think about because the forces that we experience usually here on Earth, uh, gravity and electromagnetism, we're very, very used to these forces getting weaker with distance. Like the farther you get away from the Earth, the weaker its gravitational pull. The farther you get away from a light bulb, the less you're able to see it. We're used to forces diminishing with distance, but the strong force doesn't. The strong force stays strong with distance. And what this means is that if you take two quarks, say you found two quarks, and they're all bound together, glued together with that strong nuclear force of that color force, and you get your little pincers on them, and you start pulling them apart, pulling them out, and you're straining, and you're struggling, because that strong nuclear force is so strong, and you're pulling, 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 pulling. You have to add so much energy into that system in order to pull those quarks apart, you add so much energy that you end up creating new particles. Because you, if you put a lot of energy in a tiny little volume, you can make a new particle. Because energy equals mass. Energy is mass times the speed of light squared. You can trade energy for mass. So if you put a lot of energy in, you can create mass. So what happens is, if you, as you try to pull those quarks together, you add so much energy into that system that you start making new quarks. And those new quarks... Bind together. So you bring this quark, you try to bring this quark over here, just now it has a buddy. And now now this one has a buddy. And now instead of just two quarks separated, you have two pairs of quarks. And if you try to repeat that process, just quarks all over the place. This is something we call quark confinement. We can never see a quark alone because if we try to separate, we have to add so much energy into it that new quarks get created and then immediately bind to it before it's ever isolated. This strong for this color force is so strong. It's so strong that a proton is bound together by these three quarks or these three quarks bound together are what we call a proton. The attraction between the quarks is so strong that that is what is most of the mass of a proton. If you look at the individual masses of the qu three quarks inside of a proton, it's tiny. It's tiny compared to the mass of the proton, but the force between them is so intense. There's so much energy there that that energy registers as a mass. And so the proton has the mass it does because of the binding, the gluing together of the quarks themselves. And that force is so strong that even though those quarks are bound together, they're locked together, they're in balance, there is so much energy between them. There's so much glue between them that some of it leaks out outside of the proton. 
And that leaking color force outside of the proton is what we call like the nuclear force or the strong nuclear force, which is able to bind protons together or protons with neutrons. That is not a new force of nature. If you bring two protons together, they like to hang out, they'll hug each other. That is not a new force of nature that's doing the job. It's the leftover. It's the residual force from the binding of the gluons themselves that does the work. So all of nuclear energy, all of nuclear physics is leftover residual force from among the quarks themselves. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe and go to patreon.com slash PM. Sorry, it seriously is your contributions that help keep this show going. Also, I wrote a book. I got to plug the book. Of course I do. Go to uh, pmsutter.com slash book. It's available nationwide. You can get autographed copies off the website or you can just go in a bookstore and buy it. And I will see you next time.